The top stories. Political analysis addressing ethnic nationalism and its challenges will help achieve lasting peace in Ethiopia. And capital markets said to be crucial to economic transformation and bridging financial gaps in Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to EBC World with me, Farah Olaiko, and thank you for watching us. Now, Prime Minister Abi Ahmed received Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, the Foreign Minister of Djibouti, at his office this morning, saying that Yusuf came re uh, bearing a message from President Ismail Omar Gile. Prime Minister Abe posted on his social media such exchange serve as a vital channel for dialogue and cooperation, fostering mutual understanding and collaboration on bilateral and regional matters of a shared interest. Ethiopia is focusing on enhancing safari experiences to attract more tourists as tourism is a priority sector in the country's homegrown economic reform program. The Office of the Prime Minister emphasized that improving facilities and services in national parks is crucial for this effort. In line with the Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's directive from the March 2024 100-day Council of Ministers evaluation, the Ministry of Industry has handed over locally converted safari cars to the Prime Minister's office. These cars were adapted from single pickup models to support the growing safari tourism sector. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed provided guidance during the handover ceremony on scaling up production. This initiative not only aims to meet local demand, but also builds the capacity of local manufacturers to produce safari cars on a larger scale. Moving on, in a significant diplomatic meeting today, Ambassador Mesganu Arga, the State Minister for Foreign Affairs of Ethiopia, welcomed to his office Alison Blackburn, the UK Special Envoy for the Horn of Africa and the Red Sea. The discussions focused on strengthening bilateral relations and addressing the current situation in Ethiopia. Both parties also delved into issues of peace, security and economic development in the Horn of Africa. They explored ways in which the UK can assist the international community's efforts to bring peace and stability to the region as well as enhance trade investment. The UK Special Envoy reaffirmed her country's commitment to supporting Ethiopia's ongoing transitional justice and national dialogue efforts. This meeting marks a step forward in the collaboration between Ethiopia and the UK, aiming for a peaceful and prosperous Horn of Africa. Keep saying that because it's what that's what it is. Yeah. So 
This is Bujubra city in Burundi. Welcome. Welcome back. You are still watching ABC World. Now, Lawrence Freeman, a political economic analyst for Africa, says the agenda setting talks in Addis Ababa must address ethnic nationalism and its challenges to achieve lasting peace and development in Ethiopia. Talking to ABC World, Freeman, who has over 30 years of experience on the continent, highlighted the importance of an inclusive national program that tackles the root causes of conflicts and disagreements. Habta Mashagri reports. After the massive socio-economic and political reform over the past six years, Ethiopia is witnessing conflicts and instabilities in various parts of the country. To solve these deep-rooted complications, the ruling party has established the National Dialogue Commission to undertake inclusive dialogue among Ethiopians. Ethiopia Talking to ABC World, political analyst Lawrence Freeman said solving ethnic nationalism is instrumental to ensure sustainable peace in Ethiopia. Ethiopia has been suffering uh, from the biggest disease and, and security threat it has is ethnic nationalism. Right. And this was imposed on Ethiopia, and Ethiopia is suffering from this. And as, as until this issue is resolved, more than any other country, outside country, ethnic nationalism is the biggest threat to the very existence of Ethiopia. And this has to be discussed from the highest level. The political analyst underlined that Installing inclusive national program in a bid to bring development for all regions accountably and transparently is crucial. In accordance with the National Dialogue Commission-led discussion, Freeman has shared his views about Ethiopia's constitution that needs a ratification to move Ethiopia forward. An inclusive national program for the development of all the people of Ethiopia and all the regions of Ethiopia so that people see we work together for a common purpose. And then, of course, the Constitution has to be changed. The Constitution is terribly flawed. I read it, and I wrote about it, uh, basically, I think, several years ago. And it does not contain a criteria for a citizen. It talks about multiple peoples, with an S, multiple nationalities. It doesn't define a citizen. According to Freeman, a profound principle is vital for the national dialogue to achieve the initial objective and to bring peace and stability to Ethiopia. The dialogue should be based on a profound principle that we're trying to discuss among ourselves to elevate our thinking and understanding of the principle of being a human being. Contending political parties, civic societies, the ruling party, scholars, policy makers, stakeholders, among others, need to undertake a serious discussion to move Ethiopia forward, Freeman stressed. And finally, uh, the development of capital markets is paramount in Africa's quest for economic transformation and in uh, bridging financial gaps that supporting to ECA Finance and Domestic Resource Mobilization Section Chief Sonia Somaje, a two-day workshop on local currency and capital markets development for central banks was held in Addis Ababa, finding solution to financing Africa's economy in a sustainable and resilient way was given a great priority at the workshop to develop Africa's economy. Jerusalem Batia, as more on that from the Ethiopian News Agency. Africa has been severely affected by different crises and one of the main impacts of the crisis has been also very limited access to international markets. ECA Finance and Domestic Resource Mobilization Section Chief Sonia Isombaji told Ethiopian News Agency that 
The significance of local currency financing cannot be overstressed, and it's a critical enabler for mobilizing domestic resources, mitigating currency risk, and fostering a stable environment for investment. She further pointed out that bridging the financing gap is a major challenge when it comes to infrastructure in Africa. Having a strong uh, you know, capital market is really important. And the capital market can also be um, a vehicle, actually, to channel domestic savings uh, uh, to uh, productive sectors, productive investments. So we also see capital markets as a critical tool in uh, every financial sector to make sure that access to finance is actually, uh, you know, is addressed. Financial sector deepening Africa program head Jemima Gatumi said on her part that there is no enough longer term finance to infrastructures. She revealed that there is about 2.4 trillion USD, which is held by institutional investors such as a pension funds, insurance, sovereign wealth funds, and other institutional investors available in the African continent. But the problem is that that 2.4 trillion that's available in local currency is not being harnessed to meet uh, the needs of the African continent, such as the infrastructure development. Now, the problem that exists is that financial markets right now have uh, certain challenges or certain constraints that uh, f uh, affect the flow of that finance uh, to the priorities that need it. Currency Exchange Fund Senior Vice President Isabelle Lesedigina said local currency financing is key to the development of the African continent. Local currency financing for us is key to the development of the African continent. So finding solution to finance our economy in a sustainable way, in a resilient way, is the way to develop our economies. Ethiopian Securities Exchange Chief Operating Officer Mikhail Hapte for his part emphasized the primary purpose of establishing stock exchange and capital markets to enhance access to finance. And we've seen across the world capital markets can play a big role in reducing um, access to finance issues and improving access to finance, I should say, both for individuals and corporations. The Ethiopian Securities Exchange Chief Operating Officer stated that the whole idea at the end of the day is for a lot of countries, including Ethiopia, to get away from external financing. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching EBC World. Now a quick recap of the top stories. Political analyst says addressing ethnic nationalism and its challenges will help achieve lasting peace in Ethiopia. And the capital markets said to be crucial to economic transformation and bridging financial gaps in Africa. And with that, we come to the end of today's news. Thank you for watching us. Bye.